Are you alone? Of course. I thought I heard voices. I was praying. I heard two voices. Oh, I do both parts. Champagne from France. Oh, I see you brought the whole kit. To your eyes. To the bridge of your nose. <laughs> My lust knows no bounds. Shall we to the bed? Shall we what to the bed? Forgive my haste. We have always heard that Spanish blood is the hottest. I had mine cooled for the summer. You may set the pace. Good, good. Why don't we, why don't we just sit a while and build slowly? You don't want to peek too early. You'll be back in your room before midnight. You are a temptress. Oh, please, Excellency. Call me Napoleon. Good, you can call me Napoleon, too. I've never met a woman like you. I could rest my head on your shoulder like this forever. Ah, yes, it sounds like it'd be fun, except for the grease mark. <laughs> Excellency. Mm. Oh, just a breeze. A breeze? A breeze with mice. Mice, what's the difference? If I had a woman like you instead of my wife, I would conquer all of Europe. What's that? What's all that? <laughs> I think that was just the old closet door slamming shut. One can't be too careful. The Russian underground would love me dead. I take a great chance in an occupied territory. Assassins around me. Every day is another encounter with death. Oh, oh yes, well, the, this is the price one pays for political power. Yes, life at the top is hell. Mm. Which is why I relish every minute with you. Every second means something to me. That's why the sooner we... The sooner we consummate the act of love, the happier I will be. Oh, go ahead. I can't. Oh, Francisco. Shoot! Put down that pistol. She's over 18. You're a tyrant and a dictator, and you start wars. Why is he reciting my credits? Kill him! Ah! No! We're not here on a vacation. Well, I can't shoot him. He's a live human being. He'll bleed on the carpets. Give me that gun. Oh. Ah, see? It's not so easy. Why? Why can't I do it? Because it's morally wrong. Oh, I see. Well, can you define your terms? Yes, there's a moral imperative involved here. Yeah, where? Where's the moral Don't imperative? you see? By killing Napoleon, you're actually killing yourself because we're involved in a kind of, mm. uh, kind of total absolute. Oh, come on. This isn't a total absolute. You're being pantheistic again. How is that no. pantheistic? How is that uh, pantheistic? We, we all relate universally to a mm -hmm. giant oneness. Oh, you want to you hit him? He's coming to again. Oh. Just, just, just give him a little shot. Yeah, good. You see, we're dealing with an ethical question here. Oh, come on, Boris. You're not going to quote Thomas Aquinas again? Absolutely. Where he said you must never kill a man, particularly if it means taking his life. What's the matter? Don't you see? And if we don't stop him, he'll burn down half of Europe. Well, maybe we'll get lucky. Maybe it'll be the half with our landlord in it. Boris, for our children. We don't have children. Then for our parents. They don't have children either. Well, I'm going back and I'm going to kill him. Sonia! I am. No! All right, look. Pull the carriage out front. I'll go kill him. If I don't kill him, he'll make war all through Europe. But murder, what would Socrates say? All those Greeks were homosexuals. Boy, they must have had some wild parties. I bet they all took a house together on Crete for the summer. A, Socrates is a man. B, all men are mortal. C, all men are Socrates. That means all men are homosexuals. Oh, I'm not a homosexual. I, I, once some, some Cossacks whistled at me. I, I happen to have the kind of body that excites both uh, persuasions. But, uh, you know, some men are, are heterosexual and, and some men are bisexual. And some men don't think about sex at all. You know, they're, they become lawyers. My problem is that I, I see both sides of every issue. I'm, I'm too logical, you know. I, 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 the world is not logical. If it was logical, how, how would uh, old Nahamkin be younger than young Nahamkin? <laughs> I, I knew there was something crazy about that when I was a kid, but, but every time I said something, they'd smack me. So, you know, you, I, I'm, I'm just racked with guilt, and 
I'm, I'm consumed with remorse and stricken with suffering for the human race. And not only that, but, but I'm developing a, a herpy on, on my lip here that is really killing me. It, oh, geez, oh, what to do? I...